three things that meat eaters talk to me about today. First thing is, let me see what order do I want to put this in. Just coming home from work right now, just getting off, just walked in the door, didn't even take two seconds to do anything. I just had to talk to you guys about this. Someone said to me that they lost 80 pounds, that they used to be 320 pounds. It's a guy. Used to be 320 pounds, and now they're 240 pounds. And they asked me, what did I do to lose weight? So I explained to them that it's three and a half years I've been vegan. I don't eat meat, cheese, dairy, all plant-based food. So the person, I noticed when I was talking to them, the person was real like, you know, was hype. Couldn't hardly stand still, kept on moving, kept looking at his phone and, you know, moving back and forth and everything. So while I was just talking to him, you know, I was just explaining some mild general things because the person's been seeing me for the last few years and things, but it's the first time that he actually, you know, got a chance to actually talk to me. So uh, I asked myself, well, what you do, man? Congratulations on your weight loss. What'd you do? He said, oh, man, you know, I, um, I, I stopped eating, uh, I stopped eating carbs. Uh, I don't, don't do any potatoes, rice, don't do no pastas. And, uh, and I just cut down, you know, on, on those certain things. And, and I'm like, looking at them like, okay. And I'm saying to myself, I'm not going to get into a big discussion because, you know, carbs is my go-to thing here. You know, it's nothing matter with carving it the fuck up. And, uh, so he's just like steadily moving and everything like that or whatever. So I just, and he was telling me that also, he's like, yeah, man, you know, I can't even, uh, I can't even sleep, man. I can't, I can't even sleep. So I'm just sitting back like, wow, like that's kind of deep. So long story short, I came to the conclusion that he, on top of whatever he's doing, because it was things that he wasn't telling me about, that he's taking some type of weight loss pill or pills or something like that. And that's what causes all that hypeness and moving around and everything. So, you know, trying to make shortcuts here and weight loss and health is not really the best thing. You know, it's good to just, you know, like they say, slow and steady wins the race. And I was also looking at his fitness ability and okay, yeah, you lost weight. 80 pounds, but I'm pretty sure up underneath his clothes or whatever wasn't a pretty sight there. So, um, so, you know, pills and concoctions and quick weight loss remedies are not really, they're not really good. They don't get the thumbs up. Number two. Someone said to me this morning, when I was in the bodega, they said um, they ordered a, a sandwich or something, and the person that was making the sandwiches was like, yeah, you know, you want blah, 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 what, whatever it was. It was meat, cheese, and whatever type of whatever. So the person was like, they, and the lady was like stressing that she wanted her bun or her her, her, her role or hero or whatever it was, she wanted it toasted. And the thing was, they were like, yeah, the same thing. You get the same thing every day. And she was just like, oh, man, like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, I don't get the same thing every day. When I order what I order, you know, I, I do get this, but that's when I get it, I don't get it every day. So long story short, it was funny how the conversation was going back and forth. The guy was really busy, but he kept stressing the fact, I mean, the truth is the truth. If you order it every day, you order it every day. But she was trying like not to like let it be known that she gets that every day. So she like looked at me and was like chatting about, um, you know, I, I, why would I get that every day? You know, that would be bad for cholesterol and all this and that. Like I don't eat that every day, you know. And I'm just looking at her like, 
okay. So at the end of the day, I'm just like, I explained, I said, well, I said, I don't eat meat or cheese. I'm vegan. So she was just like, oh, well, um, you know, and I was like, I explained, I said, yeah, I lost 50 pounds or whatever the case. And she said, yeah, she said, once again, another one. She said, I lost 100 pounds. So I'm like, oh, God bless you, you know. But I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at her, once again, her fitness, and up underneath whatever looked like it wasn't a pretty sight. You know, maybe lost the weight, but sagging and stretch marks and different things like, and then, you know, once again, whatever it is as far as the weight loss and then your daily habit of whatever it is, like, it's really deep. I'm not really sure, like, people can say what they want to say, but whatever, whatever, like they say, you are what you eat. So you don't got to prove nothing to me. And then the last thing is I was having lunch today. And, of course, plant-based lunch had a whole bunch of different varieties of a lot of different things there. A lot of different, just a lot of things. It was, like, really interesting and fun. So, somebody said to me, oh, where'd you go for lunch? So, I explained to them. And they was like, what, what'd you get? And then I showed them. So, they was like, oh, you got fish in there? I'm like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't eat meat. No fish, no, no meat, no nothing. So they were looking, they were like, well, how much did you pay? I said, I, I paid $13 for it. So, you know, I work hard. And, um, and at the end of the day, the person was like, oh, no, no meat, no fish, no nothing. I'm like, nah, delicious though. Look at it. Look at it. Delicious. And they were like, because there was no meat on there, but it was a whole bunch of variety of so many other different things, so colorful and so carved and veggie and every it was amazing. So they were like, oh, too expensive because there was no meat involved. So yeah. Once again, three things. Meat eaters. Meat eaters. Till the next time, holla at your boy. Keep it vegan.